Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and we gotta talk about why you should not overthink your content. And I know that you heard this before, just in the sense of production, but we're really gonna hone in on how people interpret your content in one way or another, regardless of how much work you put into it. So look at it this way. Think about how many times that you've probably been in the comment section of a video, some kind of post or an article, and you see people having two different opposing views. As a matter of fact, have you read an article and felt one way and maybe thought it was awesome, right? But then all of a sudden got into the comments and was like, what, what are these people talking about? How did they take this that direction? That's the same thing that will happen with your content inevitably, especially if it reaches a large amount of people. I thought about a lot of people that I could use for this video and so many examples, but I figured, you know what? I have a YouTube channel. Why not just use my own channel for a perfect example so you can see the hugely differing reactions that people have in the same circumstance. So you can go back and check out almost any video that I did on Russ. And there's a really interesting thing that you will find. There's two points of view on me talking about Russ. There's inevitably going to be somebody in the comments that say, I'm D-riding, that I love Russ, I'm two team Russ, I need to get off his D. Okay, that's interesting. My brother can't appreciate, you know, the success that the dude has built, whatever. But then within that same comment section, you're going to find somebody saying, quit hating on Russ. Why are you hating on Russ? Why do you dislike him? You can't appreciate his success. You're just not as big as him. You're a hater. I kid you not. And this is within the same comment section and it's multiple people on each side. How can somebody be watching the same video but someone thinks that you love the person that you're talking about and somebody on the other side thinks that you hate them? It doesn't matter. That's the point in my mind. You, in terms of a content creator, somebody at that is a creative, you can't really take these things to heart and you can't overthink your own opinion even about your music because people are going to feel how they feel once you do what you do, you put it out, you have to just put it out and not be too married to other people's opinions. Here's another example from my channel. About two months ago, I did the pull out method video with Metro Boomin. It was what happened to Metro Boomin, right? That whole thing was just the fact that he took a step back from the limelight, generally speaking. That was the core point of the video. That thing started moving and went viral, but I decided to actually do a second video on the Metro Boomin video just to bring some clarity to what I meant for the pullout method in the first video. And the interesting thing about it is I did that when pretty much, I would say 80% of the people who are watching it either liked the video and the rest of the 20% were people that you know misunderstood or they just didn't understand it or they hated the video. But the reason I did a second video was because I noticed that even in that 80%, they liked the video, but some of them liked it for the wrong reason. And as you guys know, my channel is pretty educational, so I like people to understand why what I'm talking about is relevant and what I'm trying to get across in certain cases. So let's fast forward. First video drop, second video drop. After I dropped the second video, a few days later, somebody sends me a DM on Instagram saying, yo, brand man, you were right. And what they were showing me was the Metro Booming missing billboard. Metro Booming was essentially using the whole idea of that pullout method of the fact that there was people wondering where he was or there was a sense of mystery just because he had kind of stepped back from the limelight and capitalizing off of that energy. It's pretty much exactly what I said the pullout method is about. And I was completely happy that somebody understood it. However, with that being said, after this person said, yo, you're right. And even more people saying, yo, 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 you're dope. You predicted this. Cool, whatever. I wasn't really pumped up by it, but it was what it was. Next thing you know, I start to notice a few days later, people start to comment after Metro Boomin finally drops his project. That this video didn't age well or LOL, he just dropped the project because they completely misunderstood what the pullout method was, right? So they took the fact that they couldn't understand and then tried to pit it on me by saying that I said something that was wrong or Metro Boomin dropping a project proved to be wrong. <sighs> Bruh, <laughs> the exact opposite, but you can't keep chasing people down for their opinions and trying to show people what you meant to do or how they should have perceived what you did. But that's pretty much it. 
these are some clear examples using my videos for once on how people can see things completely different, but you cannot worry about it. So do not overthink a lot of the things you're doing content wise. What I do love about the people talking about my video didn't age well, even though those people were wrong in that particular case, is the fact that it's another example how context can change things, right? And context can change almost at any moment. From these people's perception, one minute you have this video and it's spot on, like Metro Boomin is gone, what is happening with him? But then all of a sudden he drops some music and then, you know what, that video is stupid because he drops some music, obviously he's not gone. So if you don't really completely understand what I'm saying there, in its own way, a perfect example is the Me Too movement. Think about a lot of men's behavior around women probably 30, 40 years ago. Societal differences, societal behavior was completely different at that time. Now you have people observing what other people did 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago with today's societal lens. And by today's judgment, these people are monsters. And it's not to say what people did before was right or anything like that. That's besides the point. It's only the fact that even if those people were outed in those times, the repercussions would be nowhere near what it is today because contextually, people's perception is different. That context of what we see and how we think collectively as a society has changed those actions and that could do the same to your content. But that's like a side rant, so I'll dig into those nuances in a completely, you know, other video. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.